Hello Potato, welcome to Just Add Water Wednesday, where today's item is something I bought, at least in part, because I wanted to make a Twin Peaks joke in the title of the video, which I almost certainly did. And that is Nissen's Hot and Spicy Firewalk Torched Teriyaki Chicken Flavor Noodles. Chili infused Asian noodles. Now I am reading that to mean there is chili infused into the noodles themselves. The noodles themselves should actually be spicy, should be flavored on their own. I don't necessarily believe that's actually going to be the case, but that's the way I read that. You tell me infused noodles, I expect the noodles to have some heat. These have a rating of four chilies out of six, so I guess just over medium heat? I don't know. I don't know what their scale is. That's the thing with spicy foods is anybody's scale is, you know, to me, I could, you know, I could read that as medium heat or possibly that they're trying to say they're going to give uh, Bulldog spicy chicken a run for its money, which for, you know, for, for the record, Bulldog like 2x spicy is probably about my limit. That's the point at which I will keep eating but I would enjoy it more if it were a little less spicy. That's kind of that's kind of where I get off the spice train is the Bulldog 2X. So this is less spicy than that. I shouldn't have an issue with it, at least as far as heat goes. Now, flavor, well, that's a whole other thing. So here we have 12 packs of uh, Firewalk noodles. And I think they're just a standard preparation, right? Uh, Two cups of boiling water, cook for five minutes, stirring occasionally, drain the noodles while keeping the two tablespoons of water on the side. Add the water and the seasoning packet back to the noodles, stir well and enjoy. So before we do that though, we need to open up, well actually before we do that, we should look and see what the uh, nutrition was on the bottom too, wasn't it? What's our nutrition on this? Uh, 400 calories per packet, 39% of your daily sodium, that's not great, but certainly then worse. Nine grams of protein, but that actually seems to be fairly average for these things. And the main ingredient is flour. There's dried green onion there, egg white, garlic powder, habanero powder, or sorry, ground habanero pepper, not powder, pepper. So that should be interesting. I was looking at the box. I really wish I had some runny uh, hard cooked eggs to put in it because that would be really, really good, but I don't. And in any case, I'm going to eat this the way, the way that it comes for the purpose of this video, because, you know, yeah, they can, they can do these serving suggestions all they want, but what you get in the box is what you get in the box. So, and realistically, like, especially if you're taking this for work or something, not that I would boil water at work necessarily, or have facility to cook something on a stovetop at work, but I you know realistically, most people I think are not going to eat this with these extra goodies thrown in, although they would definitely be better. So let's take a look at our noodles here. These are good until, oh, I was like 2017, that's not good. I just bought them June of 25. So a little less than a year, a little less than a year from when I bought them too. Uh, well, the noodles are red. Let's see, there's always noodle crumbs in here. Let's get some noodle, there we go. Let's try some crunchy noodle crumbs. What does it smell like? Does it smell flavored? No, but it smells like noodle. Eh, maybe there's a little something there. But it smells mostly like dried noodles. Let's give it a try. Hmm, they're kind of soft noodles. Like, like not... Not soft, chewy, but like not... Not as dense and crispy as I'm used to trying... Well, I say used to trying. I don't generally eat dry ramen and haven't since I was a child. It was a thing when I was a kid. You'd get like the uh, top ramen and you just would sprinkle some of the seasoning on it and eat it dry. That was a thing when I was a kid for about five minutes. But I'm not, I don't know if I'm getting any flavor. I'm certainly not getting any heat from these chili infused noodles. So yeah, that's uh they just kind of taste like dry, not super dense noodles. No, I mean, I don't, I, they could be infused with a, with a, with chili, but if they are, the heat didn't make it, or maybe the water is going to activate the heat. Who knows? Well, we'll know soon. Here is our seasoning packet. But I mean, if that's where the, the flavor is supposed to be, or the heat was supposed to be, then I'll definitely be needing to add uh, chili oil to this before I eat it. Our seasoning packet. 
Well, let's uh, crack it open and try it now. That way I can just put it on the noodles when we get back in here with them cooked so they don't you know, have any extra long to cool off. Let's try a little powder. Let's try, give it a sniff, actually. Mm, smells nice, smells chickeny, teriyaki. Yeah, that smells quite good. Let's try a little powder. I get like the sweet teriyaki flavor first, a little chickeny, but there is heat there. I thought actually, I thought it was gonna come up and hit hard, but it's actually kind of keeping its distance right now. Maybe when we have more of it mixed in with the noodles, it'll come up and uh, give us a proper hello. But we'll put that aside for the moment. And I'm gonna go cook us some noodles for five minutes and be back with some fresh noodles and two tablespoons of noodle water. And we'll give these a try. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back with our noodles and our two tablespoons of reserved cooking water. And let's look at these noodles first because they are supposed to be chili infused. I did see like, like little chili flakes floating around in the water while they were cooking, but I mean, there's definitely coloration here, but I couldn't taste anything particularly special when it was dry. Let's try it now that it's wet. If anything, they maybe are less flavorful. I, I almost feel like maybe there's just like the slightest bit of something trying to come up there, but it's very, very, very slight. I, I think whatever infusion they've done is purely for color. It's not, it's not bringing much in the way of flavor or heat to the party. They just kind of taste like plain noodles. And there might be just a little of something there, but I might also be talking myself into that. All right, let's add in our powder and our two tablespoons of reserved water, which apparently are melting my tablecloth. So we get for putting it in a metal cup, I suppose. And let's just stir it up and enjoy. So we have another, basically another, it seems like I don't do many soups anymore. It's not that I'm going out of my way to not get soups. It's just that that's, seems to it's largely available now. It's like we've uh, we've moved a bit away. It smells really good. We've moved away from like ramen soup here. I'm making a horrible mess. We have moved away from like ramen soups into more of just not dry ramen, but just like noodle bowl kind of stuff. It's uh, interesting. I wonder why that is. So I thought, yeah, I see some little little specks of, I'm guessing, green onion in there, but not very many, which is nice. I'm not a huge fan of green onion. I feel like I'm not, I mean, it's coated, but I keep seeing like really dark patches. I might just be where the water is still collected at the bottom. That will, of course, undoubtedly dry up as I eat. So let's, uh, now that it's all mixed and coated nice, let's give it a try, get a good, Good healthy bite here, I think. The noodles like split in half as soon as I put them in the water. It was very weird. I think there's a lot of breakage in here. All right, let's give it a try. Nope, there's the heat. The flavor does remind me a lot of Samyang's uh, spicy artificial chicken bulldog stuff. Maybe a little bit sweeter. It's got a good amount of heat to it. If you're not a heat person, don't buy this. The hot and spicy is not a joke. But again, it's not like, again, it's nowhere near like Bulldog 2X. It's not, it's nowhere near my personal threshold. And that's really good though. And it reminds me a lot of the flavor of the chicken Bulldog. So if you like that, you will probably like this as well. I, I quite, I, I quite do the noodles. The noodles aren't necessarily the best. They can be like a little more chew to them. I know we cooked them a little bit longer. And maybe I've just gotten used to more eating like the Asha and the Samyang, which I think are maybe a little bit higher quality than Nissan. I think Nissan, Nissan's one of those old school brands that made it to America way before everybody else. But I don't think they're necessarily one of the, the better. I mean, they're quality, but they're, you know, they're not like 
like was it Chef Fu or whatever they got at Walmart that one time? Ugh, that was awful. They're you know they're not that, but they're not. I, I would say they're not any as good as like Asha noodles or even Samyang noodles. But it is good. I do think I cooked it for the full five minutes it said to. I think I would want to cook this for a little bit less. That said, the heat level is good. I don't need to add any chili oil to this. It's not like making me like think, do I want to keep having another bite? It's not like that hot, but it's it's good and spicy. It is, it's a nice level of heat. The heat is there, it lets you know it's there. If you don't like heat, you're not gonna like this. But I mean, but then also if you're the kind of person that like eats like Bulldog 3X spicy for fun, you're probably not going to be uh, terribly impressed with this. But the flavor's really nice. It's got a really nice, like I said, reminds me a lot of the, the Bulldog Artificial Spicy Chicken. But sweeter, I think it's because of the teriyaki. I don't think the Bulldog is meant to be teriyaki. But it's got that, that same good artificial chicken flavor, which, I mean, it's funny that I legitimately now like artificial chicken flavor. It's, and that's how I think of it, because that's how it's always described on, like, Bulldog packaging. This would be good though with like some uh, some meat, spam or ham or something in there. Definitely would be good with some eggs in with it. And definitely going to be all mine because my wife doesn't like heat. She's definitely not going to touch these. They do live up to their spice picture on the front there. I would say a bit above medium. Not extremely hot, but hot. Now these are very nice. I think I picked these up at Sam's Club for like 10 bucks for the whole box. and. That was, uh, I think, a fairly good deal. Not anything I can make it work, because you do need to actually boil, like, cook it in water. And we don't have a stove top. But definitely a good quick meal. I mean, once you get the water boiling, it's five minutes. Again, I, I think I think for myself, next time I make these, I'm going to make it for four. I think because those noodles were so soft, I think there's, like, more air in them. And I think they cook too fast. Because they are, the noodles are just, could be a little, a little firmer, a little more to, uh, I guess cross the streams a little more al dente than these because they do just kind of mush apart in your mouth a bit and that's to me that's overcooked again i cooked i followed it to their instructions five minutes should have been four and then next time i will yeah i'll definitely do it four in the future just to see if it makes them a little bit firmer but the flavor is good and ultimately i mean you, the flavor is one of the more important parts flavor is at least as important as the texture of the noodles. And for now, I can figure out the noodle texture by having a very nice, spicy, artificial chicken flavor. With that, I'm gonna go finish my lunch now. Thank you for joining me on this little fire walk with me adventure. Uh, quite good, slight modifications necessary, needs to be cooked less, but otherwise quite, quite good flavor. Have you tried Nissen Hot and Spicy Fire Walk? Are there other flavors? I mean, I assume, this is like a branding, so there must be other flavors. Are there other flavors? What are they? Let me know in the comments, because I may want to look for them. But I do thank you for watching. I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.